activity 1 to measure resistance voltage that is a AC and DC so to measure the resistance voltage and check the continuity of a given circuit using multimeter dear students first we have to know about the multimeter so this is a multimeter so in multimeter there is a knob is given the center one is a neutral one that is a negative black color knob so if you want to measure the voltage and the ohm resistance everything you have to cover and connect the red color knob in this point if you want to measure the current means you have to connect this one okay so very simple it is as it is connected when you are on this multimeter so in multimeter this side will show the voltage with the straight line that means it will measure the dc voltage and this side the voltage will have some symbol so this is a like a ac symbol it will show the voltage with the ac symbol is given this side this will, this side will measure the ac voltage and this side what it is given here that is a straight line with dotted that means this will measure the dc voltage and here we are able to see the symbol ohm symbol so ohm symbol means it will measure the resistance in this side in the bottom there will be an ampere a is given so this will measure the current so very simple students so now we are going to measure the resistance of a given color code resistors already we are studied about the color coding so you are uh, well known about the color coding bb roy so you should remember this color coding on your way first we are going to in our experiment in our uh, activity what they are given resistance to measure the resistance of the given resistors so the resistors with color coding brown black orange and gold the rings in the resistor one of the resistor i am taking that so that is a this is the resistor with so are you able to see that or while you are coming to the lab you can see that so brown black orange and the gold rings so the brown means it is a <coughs> one so bb right is a one black means zero orange means into 10 power two okay so sorry into 10 power 3 orange means 3 bb roy so what will happen 10 power 3 and gold means plus or minus 5 percentage so what is this one 1 0 into 10 power 3 so 1 0 is a 10 10 power 3 is a kilo ohm plus or minus 5 percentage so we are calculated by knowing the knowledge of brown black orange gold is a 10 kilo ohm resistor now we are going to measure our activity is to measure the resistance of the given resistor by using multimeter as i already told you so to measure the ohm you have to move the knob here so i will move this knob towards the resistor so resistance is not a 200k we already know that the given the uh, what is the resistance given in your hand for the experiment or in the activity is it is 10 kilo ohm so you have to fix it more than this not a 20k if you fix it as a 10k means it is easy to calculate the measurement so then what you have to do that we have to connect the both the ends of the resistor with the black and red knobs so i will connect it now dear students now the red color and the black color the positive and the negative knobs are connected with the resistor the given resistor this will shows the reading 9.77 so what is the actual reading it is a 10 kilo ohm but the multimeter shows approximately 9.77 there will be some fluctuations will be there like this only you have to find that 
to measure the resistance of a given resistor if the different different resistors are given first you have to calculate by using the color code calculate the actual value of the resistor then adjust this value based on this given resistor then if the given resistor is 100 kilo ohm means you can use this knob with what is that you can uh, give the knob with 200k even i can show to you if the 10k is connected with the 200 means it is a 9.7 so 200k means 9 uh, 9.7 kilo ohm so if it is uh, connected with the 10k that means 20k means it will show 9. again 9.77 same value are you clear so either you can keep it as a 20k or 200k if you measuring uh, 200k but you are keeping this knob as a 20k means this will damage the multimeter so keep in your mind so what is the calculation what is the actual value of the resistor you should know that that is a 10k you should always keep the knob that uh, reading should be above this given actual value so that is very very important for actual activity purpose in examination the external will ask this question the students our next thing is we are measure the resistance of the given resistor by using the given value we are going to calculate the different measure the different values of the resistors give different resistors by using multimeter some other resistors will give so we have to do the tabulation like this so resistor 1 resistor 2 resistor 3 so write the color coding and write the what is the reading actual reading by calculation what is the actual reading by the measurement which is shown in the <coughs> multimeter then the difference in the percentage so that is we are going to write in the record notebook as well as in the examination now we are going to measure the voltage first i will take the DC voltage. So DC voltage means battery eliminator. Already we have seen in our experiments. So the battery eliminator is connected with the AC power supply. The AC is converted into DC. Here I will fix it to 2 voltage. In multimeter, already I told that in voltage there is a straight line means DC voltage. Here I will fix the 2 voltage. So definitely I, will, I have to fix a value greater than this 2 voltage that is 20 volt. If I connect these two things, you see that. If I connect the positive to positive and negative to negative, this will show the value. Sorry, I will not switch on the value. Yes. Now you can see that the value is 2.14. Approximately we can calculate the measure. We can measure the voltage dc voltage by using multimeter even if i increase the value if the value is increased to 4 volt then what will happen so i will increase the value to 4 volt again i will connect at that it will shows the measures the 4.16 so we can measure the dc voltage by using multimeter different values you can calculate so you have to show it in your tabular column for 2 voltage 4 voltage and 6 voltage by using battery eliminator. Dear students, this is the tabulation. So in DC power supply, serial number 1, 2, 3, 2 volt, 4 volt and 6 volt. This is actually what we are fixed in the battery eliminator. But the voltage measured in the multimeter is 2.13 and 4.16 and 6.28. Then what is the difference these things? The next one is to measure the AC power supply using multimeter. AC voltage using multimeter. Dear students, in our domestic uses, in our houses, all the black points are AC voltages. It will be around 230 voltage. To measure this 230 voltage, I have to keep, we have to keep the voltage. This is a AC voltage knob. The knob has to, knob has to move towards the AC voltage with 200 here it is a 600 i hope you are, you are able to see this this is a 600 so our value is 230 we know that so never pick this value 200 we have to pick the value greater than the 230 that is 600 voltage so this multimeter will measure the ac voltage up to 600 voltage so now i will fix it knob the actually in the 
voltage condition only it will be pictured the black color wire will be in the center only now we are measuring the voltage and the resistance not at all a current so we have to keep like this so in this knob itself they are given so it will be 600 voltage maximum fused so 200 milliampere only it have to given then 250 voltage so everything will be given so don't connect the multimeter in wrong way so do the activities what is the instruction given so you have to keep these things in this activity never put this red color wire in the 10 adc knob so always all the experiment has to be done all the activities to measure the resistance to measure the voltage and ac voltage and dc voltage everything has to be done in the same position so now this is a 600 voltage knob i have to connect it with the positive negative here when i switch on this and i will connect these two things it will show the value of sorry yes it will show the 225 or 24 26 voltage ac voltage when this multimeter is connected with the any one knob so there is a no positive negative you have to connect this positive and negative anyway so we can be able to measure the ac voltage by using the multimeter so in this activity it is clearly we are shown that the resistance of the given resistors different resistors can be measured by using multimeter the voltage ac voltage as well as the dc voltage also be measured by using the multimeter the tabulation for these things or for resistors we have to use these tabulations and for measuring the voltage we have to use this tabulation for AC only one reading 230 so the value it will show 225 or 234 like this so the difference is 4 what you are observed we can write okay so this activity activity 1 is completed